I'll make the propellers out of this plastic card, sort of typical credit card sized plastic. Propellers don't need to be very big because I'm only using these small uh, one and a half volt or three volt motors. So I reckon, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to make them about one and a half centimetre radius, so that's a three centimetre propeller, which is probably still a bit big. I'll mark up the card using my dividers and then I'll draw over it with a felt tip pen or something so you can actually see it because you won't be able to see the clear lines on the plastic. I don't know, you might be able to see that. Yeah, you can see the circle I've drawn because it's white underneath, so that's showing up through the orange. So that's the that's the size of the propeller. So I say probably still a bit big for those motors, but that's what we're going with. I'm gonna make it three bladed. So we should be able to divide it up using the dividers. There we are, flower petal design. I will just go over that with a pen or a pencil so we can see which bits we're using. Hopefully you can see the three petals now. When we cut it out you don't want to go too far into the centre, we want to stop about there somewhere. Might be able to cut that out with scissors. I'll give it a try with scissors, but I've also got some tin snips, as they're called, which cut fine metal as well. Marked up three on there, so I can use two for the boat and have a spare. I'll try it with these scissors first. Not sure if they're strong enough. I might do. I think I might drill holes. Just on each of those positions. So it's easier to cut into. I don't know if you can see I've marked three holes there where I'm going to drill through. I'm just hoping that will make it easier to cut with the scissors. and stop at the right point. So our propeller shape. I'll drill the hole in the centre before I forget because it'll be easier to do it now than it will be later when we're twisting them because we need to heat them a little bit so we can twist them. 
that's all three of them prepared. Could do a little bit more trimming. Just a bit of light foiling or something. Just to get rid of the rough bits around the edges. Drill the holes in the middle, which are actually the right size for that. Although they're not going to be fitting straight on there, they'll be on the prop shaft. So what we now need to do is warm them up a bit so we can twist them. And because we're using twin propellers on the boat, we want one propeller to be clockwise twist and one to be anti-clockwise twist. So that's what I'll do. I'll go and warm them up. You haven't got a lot of room to get a heat source under there without burning your fingers, so be a little bit careful. Something like a tea light or something, just to warm them a bit, and then twist them. I'm going to use my pliers to hold the propeller while I heat it over a tea light, and then twist it. You can just hold it in your fingers, but obviously it's going to get a bit hot, so pliers would be a good idea. doesn't take very much heat at all. And once you've done it you want to go round again and look at it and try and see if you've got them even. As soon as it cools down, it's quite stiff again. And this one we want to twist the opposite direction. The trouble with this is you can spend all day trying to make it match. That's one way. And that's the opposite way. I haven't matched them very well. I could spend a lot of time doing this, trying to make them even. So I might do a bit more, but not in front of the camera. <laughs> 